What's up everybody, this is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob, doing the McAllen Classic Cut 2020. Now, I don't buy many McAllens anymore, I've kind of boycotted them for the most part, but a 55% McAllen is always interesting to me. Um, I wish they would put an age statement on these, but because they don't, I can just assume that it's at least three years, one day. So that's how old the scotch has to be, that's probably how old this is. I've heard that they don't bottle less than seven years old, but in my opinion, if that was the case, then put that on the bottle because a lot of people love seven-year-old whiskey. There's nothing wrong with a seven-year-old whiskey. This is good stuff despite that. I keep being drawn back to the Classic Cuts because the Classic Cut series as a whole is actually really, really good. The whole point of the Classic Cut is that it's cut perfectly from the distillate, all right? so. For those of you that don't know, there's heads, there's hearts, and there's tails in a distillate. The hearts is what they're striving for. The hearts is where all the good flavor, all the sweetness, all the quality whiskey is. The heads and the tails are usually discarded. Classic cut is probably the hearts of the hearts. I'm not exactly sure what the recipe is for that, but that's my guess. Uh, it shows in the glass. It's very, very approachable, all right? 55% on the dot, this one. Right, this is a 2020. It changes every year. It's honestly pretty good every year. I was worried about this one, if I'm being completely honest, just because this is the first time they're using ex bourbon casks. All right, they usually use entirely sherry casks. In the beginning, it was only European sherry casks. Then it went to American sherry casks. Now it's also ex bourbon. But what that does tell me is this might be older than we think because. McAllen doesn't use a lot of ex bourbon casks, so when they do, they tend to put older whiskey. But that's just a guess. I'm not 100% sure, and I can't really back that up. I just think that usually in the triple cask series, in those types of like series like the old fine oak, um, when they were using bourbon casks, the whiskey tended to taste a bit older, not necessarily as good. But that also could be European oak imparts a lot of spiciness. We're kind of going all over the place with this one so far. A lot of geeking out, but out of all the McAllen's, if you're gonna buy one, this is the one to buy in my opinion. It is limited, but not that limited. There's probably like 100,000, if not more, maybe 150,000 bottles of this. Uh, every year they do the same thing. 2017 is when it started. And for whatever reason, the edition series took off faster than the Classic Cut series. But in my opinion, the Classic Cut series is better than the Edition series. And I think they're going to keep going with this one. Color is not as dark as usual. Like I said, there are bourbon casks used for this one. But typical McAllen on the nose. That beautiful orange that McAllen is known for. That chocolate sweetness. Marmalade fruits, fruit jams, I guess you can say. Almost like a bubblegum note in there as well. Maybe some light, light cinnamon or nutmeg. Very light though. Nice legs on the glass. I'm assuming this is unchill filtered. It doesn't have added color. We do know that about McAllen. They never add color. It's always the color of the cask, but it doesn't say anywhere on the bottle that it's unchill filtered, nor does it say on the box. So we can assume that maybe they did chill filter it a little bit, not hundred percent sure. And again, like for all we know, this is three years old. Nice nose overall, very approachable on the palate. Easy drinking on the palate as well. Does not need a drop of water. Very, 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 very little burn, if any at all. Not harsh in any way, shape, or form.
it's good. I, I mean, there's really nothing bad you can say about this one. In my opinion, it blows the Edition 6 out of the water. I think last year the Classic Cut did that as well. Smoking, the 2019 smoked the Edition 5. Um, again, I'm not sure why so many people gravitate to the Edition series. Maybe it's the colorful boxes. Maybe it's the fact that it's Edition 1, 2, 3, 4. People love collections. But these are highly collectible in my opinion as well. Probably more collectible when looking back at everything, knowing that these are higher ABV. I think people are going to be wanting to store these ones a little bit more. I'm going to continue buying this. So for that reason, I'm giving it an 88. I think it's great stuff. I got this for 150 bucks and that's from out west. So that's a good price now, uh, unfortunately. Um, the LCBO has the 2019 still available for $160. So that was last year's price. I'm assuming the LCBO is gonna get this one for around $175 to $180. I could be wrong about that, but we will soon see. I like it. I think it's definitely a buy at 150 bucks. When you start to creep into the $170, $180 mark, I'm not sure if it's a replaceable bottle. Um, but I do enjoy this a lot and I will be buying it again in 2021 and 2022 uh, for as long as they make this. I do really enjoy it. It's one of the ones that I will replace on a regular basis from McAllen. Pretty much boycott the rest of their stuff, especially anything bottled less than 46%, which, which they're probably never going to bottle their age statements at 46 or higher unless it's a single cast that's astronomical in price and pretty much impossible to get. This is an 88. Good whiskey, not happy with everything that McAllen's doing right now, but I'm definitely happy with the Classic Cut series. I think they're doing a good job with that and you gotta give credit where credit is due. That's it for me guys, I hope you like this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, you can hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the bell to get notifications for when I do release a video. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can check out our podcast, The Whiskey Rant, on all places where you find your podcast. Check out my buddy, Six gin and rock and roll my buddy monty he's doing a great job with gin reviews and if you really like this channel you can support it by going on to patreon i'll leave a link below cheers